The movement outside of the Watson Hotel where we've seen migrant men camping out the last few nights refusing to relocate to the new shelter at the Brooklyn Cruise Shelter. But now it appears the NYPD is getting involved. Let's get straight outside to Teresa Priola live outside the hotel tonight. Teresa, what's going on out there? Yeah, Natasha and Steve, the migrants that were out of the, outside of the Watson Hotel, given no choice tonight, and it basically happened seemingly out of nowhere. This all went down around 8 o'clock. The NYPD, we are told, as well as the sanitation department, showed up here at the Watson Hotel and told everyone to get on a bus or get moving. I'm told there were roughly 30 to 40 migrants here at the time. No reason was given for the sweep, but migrant advocates on site believe it might have something to do with the very cold weather that we are in for over the next couple of days. It is unclear where most of these men went because only a small number went to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal in Red Hook on those city buses. Now, a few more did try to move down the block and congregate at the corner of 10th and 57th with their suitcases in tow in tow. I'm told that when the sweep happened, it was a situation where they basically had to take what they could immediately, which meant leaving a lot of donations behind, including food and water. We have reached out to the mayor's office, the sanitation, as well as the NYPD. The police would only say that the NYPD was in dialogue with those outside of the hotel. Now, back out here live, as you will know, this hotel over the last couple of days has been something of a hot button issue as the these migrant men fight the transfer to the Brooklyn Cruise Terminal. I'm told part of that is not believing that those facilities, for whatever reason, are adequate. But I am also told by people here there is a feeling among some that perhaps if they were to leave here and go there, that it might increase their chances of being rounded up and deported. Although, Steve and Natasha, I do want to stress there is no indication that that is going to happen, that that has happened. Uh, nobody publicly is talking about that. That is just some of the talk among some of the people that were here, and that's what advocates were sharing with me tonight.